How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. So this is a video you guys have been requesting on the map voting system forever, ever since it released. Um, so let's go over the story really quickly on the Discord channel. By the way, this official Spooks HD Discord, I recommend you join it. Link down in the description down below. Um, basically, in the Discord issues channel, a lot of the issues pertaining to the map voting system uh, it were primarily that the map voting system didn't teleport you and didn't teleport the players and load in the map. And that was a stupid decision on my part not to include that. So by request of many of you, the community, we're making an extension to that video. So your, your prayers have been answered. Yeah. <laughs> So anyways, uh, before we start this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and do not forget to hit that notification bell to every time I upload a video, it gets released, uh, you see it, you get notified about it. It's, it helps a lot, and just please do that. And don't forget to join the Discord down below, because you can get a ton of help there, and uh, I know the comments is also a great place, but you get more direct contact with me and with others that can help you. Anyways, without further ado, for, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video. So, um, it's been a while. This is where we left off, and it's been a long while. So this would be the status, uh, this would be the pads that you would go on, and then it would show you the voter. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the server script, and okay... All right, uh, all right, and then <laughs> I'm kind of looking at everything, just remembering. Okay, so um, I know what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go ahead and insert a maps folder, and this is where all the maps are gonna be loaded into, and then, uh, yeah, the basics like that, and then uh, in here assets. Okay, these are for the client to server communication, and then the maps. Oh, we don't have anything in these. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and bring the Spooks HD one out first, because to create a map, we're going to need at least some objects and some spawns. So let's go ahead and create a new folder, and we'll just name these objects, and then we'll copy that, and we'll name it spawns. And we're going to insert a part into objects, and we're just going to name this base. Um, this is just going to be, you know, something there that's going to, um, that's just going to be there. So we're going to do 100, 1, 100, and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, 0, zero uh 500 away so it's all the way out here uh so and, you know in a place that you can't really see right or well you can see if there was a lobby you probably wouldn't be able to see if it was closed off or above the lobby um so there you go now you have your base we're going to duplicate this and we're going to put this into spawns but it's we're going to change the size so we'll make a uh four by four spawn um that's not four by four. Oh, i forgot i, I forgot the uh, comma. There we go. So that's going to be our 4x4 four four spawn, and we're going to go ahead and let's just put this at like, ooh, 5 seems a bit too high. There we go. We'll put that too, and we'll make that semi-transparent, and then uh, just a dark red color. So we're just going to name this uh, spawn, and we're going to make at least, we'll make 10 of these. Um, by the way, uh, some help when you guys are placing spawns down. Um, when you're placing spawns, the amount of spawns you want to put is equal to the amount of players in your server. So if the max amount of players is 16, you want 16 spawns in a map. So every spawn, uh, because the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to cast spawns that have already been spawned, uh, pe players have already been spawned at. So they spawn at, they are forced to spawn at one that has a player isn't already at. Uh, basically, those are the basics. So make sure you have the amount of spawns that are going to pertain to the amount of players you have. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have one spawn, we're going to have two spawn, we're going to have three, four, five, six, um, did I spawn a new one? No, that's seven. So we can move that there. So seven, eight, nine, and then we're just going to have 10 all the way over here. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's, that's basically going to be our spawn uh, area. So that, that is it. That's all you actually did. I anchored these. Yeah. Okay. There's a clone. So, yeah, so that's it. That's the entire map. Uh, the spawns are really easy to do, and it does not matter where you place them. Well, it kind of does. It has to be in the map, but pretty much uh, you have complete freedom where you place them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that back in the maps folder, and we're just going to duplicate these. We're going to copy and paste them uh, or duplicate them into different areas. 
and we're just going to change the base plate colors of these. So I'm just going to randomly select where I'm going to place these. So let's just change those colors blue and let's see where we get there. Okay. The nice, like ugly blue gray, I guess. Um, all right. So we got the maps in. So that is it. That is all we need to do for that part. Now, uh, the rest of the tutorial is just programming. It's the scripting part. So uh, here we are in the original script. So we're going to add a new settings and this is going to be a uh, map teleport delay. Now, you might be wondering, well, Spooks, what is a map teleport delay? Well, map teleport delay is basically after the map has been chosen and it's loaded, it'll take it'll take this amount of seconds. Um, it'll wait this amount of seconds before teleporting the players, uh, the basics. So we're going to go ahead and make that two. And that's all we need to do for that part. So now after that, we're going to go ahead and... Um, so first, we're going to load map. And we're going to go ahead and do local map is equal to um, maps. And then uh, what? let's see, what are, is it? Map votes one dot name or map name. And then we're going to clone that. And oh, maps and votes, not ma it's map votes, not maps votes. So basically, uh, if you don't remember how this was sorted, um, when we went ahead and started it would uh, go, basically, it would go through each, uh, <laughs> shoot, where, where do we choose? I'm trying to remember. Oh, so for each map, yeah, get map. So get map right here. So basically for each, uh, go, we go ahead and insert to map votes uh, an array. And ID is basically the map, uh, which is basically the voting pad number. And the map name is actually the random map that we selected. And the players are just basically the players that are on it, but that we're not going to use those really. So um, basically the map name is what we're looking for because it pertains to the actual name. So we clone it because we don't want to take it out of the folder. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, map.parent is equal to workspace.game.maps. Uh, do we have an actual folder or? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, we do. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a uh, variable here. Local maps is equal to game.maps. And then we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're just going to make it equal to maps. Oh, we can't do that because that's actually... Uh, we're just going to do g underscore maps, and that's how we're going to just uh, be able to tell. So yeah, map.parent's going to go into g maps, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wait settings dot map teleport delay, and then teleport players. And basically from here, we're going to go ahead and do cache spawns, and we're going to go ahead and i pairs. And we're just going to do local players playing because this is if you want to access the players who are actually playing at this time. So we're going to go ahead and go through here for a B and I pairs. Um, let's see, how, what, do, what do we want to do here? All right. So we want to go ahead and do game.players, get players. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to do a local character is equal to b dot character or b dot character added because just in case um, there isn't a character yet the person just reset or um or uh, for say well what would it be if the person just reset or the person just joined the game we'll wait and then if character if there is a character then we're going to go ahead and table dot insert players playing and we're going to insert b dot user id because we are going to retrieve the player from the player, uh, you know, from the game.players from that uh, later. And then character. And actually, we're going to go ahead and do this. So local random spawn. And we'll copy that. We'll cut this out. And then we'll find the spawn first. So local random spawn is very simple. All you have to do is map.spawns get children. And then you're going to go in here. And we're going to use the new random class to find a, uh, to get a random number. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do next integer. And we're gonna do one hashtag, not that. Um, we're gonna we'll put that at the bottom because that's where it's gonna be anyways. Uh, we'll do one through the amount of spawns. So basically uh, we choose a random number through one 
through like say that we had 10 spawns so it's going to be one through 10 that's uh basically it's going to choose a random number between that now if cached spawns uh random spawn then what we'll do is we're going to repeat uh wait until um not uh then we until we don't find that and then what we're going to do is random spawn is equal to that basically and there you go until it's not there and then if, when it's not we're going to go ahead and do cast spawns random spawn is equal to true and then character set primary part c frame basically teleporting them so primary part c frame and then what we're going to go ahead and do is random part dot c frame times c frame dot new uh zero 2.250 0. so in basically uh, what it's going to do is it's going to teleport the player to uh, that random spawns coordinate location and then it's going to add 2.25 to that y value uh, to the y value result because that is primarily the average uh, height for the humanoid root part. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's no it's not humanoid root part it's uh, the bottom it's the humanoid root part to the feet to the bottom of the feet uh, which I believe is the distance for. So anyways, uh, that's going to teleport the players, and then after that, all we have to do is teleport them back. So after the map vote delay, we're just going to go ahead and do 4AB I pairs uh, players playing, do local player is equal to game.players get player by user ID, and we're going to do B. If there is a player, then we're going to do local character is equal to player.character or player.character added. Uh, wait. And then if there is a character, then we're just going to go ahead and set the primary part C frame back to C frame dot new. And that's it. So that basically does the entire thing. So now if we go ahead and press play. So we press play and OK, we're on HQ. Um, so Roblox HQ and library. So the basic seconds left to vote. Um, so we're just going to wait here and uh four three two one zero so lost vote lost vote winner so there we go we're teleported and then we're back here um and basically if you guys want to be able to add the round timer uh there is a link on screen i don't know uh, can we still do annotations i'm not for sure but um yeah so anyways oh shoot actually we forgot one part uh we're not done yet so uh, what we're going to have to do is map destroy. Okay, there we go. Uh, then unload map teleport players back. And after that, that's it. We unloaded the map and there we go. So we're on library HQ Roblox. Um, so we're just going to let this go for a little bit. Just wait. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then once that happens, uh, if when we go, so that's the winner, of course. If we go into game and look at maps, library is the map that was chosen, and now it's gone. So we're so let's go to Spooks HD. Let's support him, right, guys? <laughs> wink, wink. Subscribe, wink, wink. So yeah, the Spooks HD uh, map, and then once that occurs, and in the maps, Spooks HD was chosen, and then we're teleported to it. And uh, you can make the um, spawns uncollidable, uh, can collide false. Uh, that's your choice. I forgot to do that. So that's uh, <laughs> that's my fault. Anyways, so basically that's the entire video. Um, it's just a small extension to the already existing map voting system. So anyways, um, like I said before, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel and you want to learn more stuff. Um, go ahead and leave a like on this video because you know, it's a great video. And if it helped you leave a like, if it didn't leave a like, and then, uh, go ahead and comment down below if you have any issues or if you have any suggestions for new videos in the future. And, uh, if you want to go ahead and add on to the, if you want to add a round timer to this, you can go ahead and go to the round timer video down in the description down below to, uh, basically get the gist and, in, uh, and implement it into the map voting system to get a full working round system, uh, kind of like a uh, murder mystery. So yeah. And then don't forget to join the official discord, uh, discord down in the description down below as well. Don't forget to do that as well. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.